Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating different methods of recovering deleted files or photos on Mac. If you are new in this channel, you might consider to subscribe. I publish weekly tutorials on tech, photography and editing. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So the first two options will be demonstrating how to recover temporary deleted files or photos and the last two options will be describing how to recover permanently deleted files. First option, if you delete a file unintentionally then simply go to the trash bin and then select the file and then go to settings from there click on put back. As you can see the file has been restored. Please note that you will have to attempt to recover the file within 30 days after deleting. Otherwise, the files will be permanently deleted from the trash bin automatically. Second option. If you delete photos from your photo library, then simply go to recently deleted option in the application. From there, find the photos you deleted and then recover them. Now, if you delete the file or photos permanently from the trash bin, is it possible to recover the files or photos? The answer is yes, it is absolutely possible to recover all the files and photos. So the third option, using Time Machine. If you don't know, Time Machine is an Apple backup system. I strongly recommend using Time Machine backup system to recover the files. Many of us probably ignore doing that. However, we regret later when we lose our important files. We can recover files using different data recovery softwares and I am going to talk about that later. Besides, maintaining a self backup system is the best because it is secure first and ultimately it saves money. When you use third party softwares, they get access to your entire computer system. I'm not saying they're unsafe, however, you can't be sure about data protection. Secondly, you will have to use paid version of these softwares mainly for any advanced data recovery. Now, to recover any file using Time Machine, you have to make sure that the files were backed up before deleting. Connect your external hard drive with your computer and then open Time Machine application. From there, find the deleted file. You can search by names, dates, and time, whatever is convenient for you, and then simply restore it. Now, if you do not have a backup of the file you have deleted permanently, then is it possible to recover? Yes, it is very much possible to recover permanently deleted files too. There are different file recovery softwares available for Mac and Windows. However, I personally would recommend using two of these softwares. The first one I would recommend is Disk Drill. This is probably the most used software for data recovery on Mac and Windows operating systems. They offer free and pro versions. However, you might not get the expected result using their free version. Therefore, it is recommended to use the Pro version for smooth and advanced data recovery. Just follow a few steps mentioned in the website to complete the installation process. Right, installation has been completed. Just to show you, I am deleting this image 
and we'll see if we find it using this software. When you'll open the application, you will have to allow the software to access the computer system. In that case, you will have to change the security preference too. All will be instructed automatically. Just follow the steps. When installation will be completed, run the application and scan the disk where your files were located. When you find it, just select the file and click on recovery. And also select the location where you want to save the file. The other data recovery software for Mac is AnyRecover. Visit their website to download the software. Install the application as you install others. Open the application. The interface of this particular software is straightforward. Scan the disk or location if you know where the file was before deleting. Find your deleted file and simply recover it. It might take quite a while to complete the scan. I am sharing the links of both websites in the description section below. You can also Google it. Friends, I hope this tutorial will help you. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.